Now joining me for Pet Corner, we welcome back Kelly McFarlane. Kelly, there's been lots of dog events recently and still more happening. So firstly, are these good to take my dog to? If your dog enjoys it, then absolutely. There have been so many great ones um, over the past few months and there's even more that are up, up and coming. So yeah, that's why I thought, oh, well, let's talk about it today because, um, you know, some of these dogs have a wonderful time and some not so much. So when you say dog event, what are we talking about here? Um, so there's been ones where, you, you know, you can take the dogs swimming at the swimming pools and they've been really, really fun events for oh, a lot wow. of, yeah, a lot of dogs that obviously love to swim. Uh, there's also been uh, the dog walks as well. Um, again, huge events um, throughout the whole of, of New Zealand. So, um, yeah, lots of different things out there happening. Okay, so you're at a doggy event. How can you tell if your dog's having a good time? Well, the first thing, if your dog's having a good time, then usually they're pretty still, you know, they're quite responsive to you. Um, usually they, they actually look really relaxed and, um, and, and certainly if you're wanting to give them a little treat or anything, they generally will take the food from you as well. So they look pretty happy and chilled out just like they would do at home. Okay, what, is there anything we should be watching for just to see if they're maybe not having quite a good time as we think they are? Yeah, so if it's a dog that's not having a good time, usually their whole body looks a lot of the time quite stiff and they almost look really, really tense. Generally they can be on really high alert so they're looking around a lot um, and also, you know, for them sometimes they're actually looking around for an escape route. So if they're on leash, obviously they've got nowhere to go but, um, but yeah, and again they get a lot of panting, they might start hypersalivating as well. So yeah. Dribbling. Yeah, and some even jump, especially the little ones, they might jump on you because they're, they're asking you for help. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's that's interesting. I didn't know that because quite often we might be at these events and we're having a great time, but the whole point of, them, of being there with our dogs and they're not really having the, the best time in, the, in their life. Yeah, and I think a lot of the time it's because people don't realise or they think, oh, the dog will settle down, yeah. but actually the, the dog generally doesn't. What they've done is gone to a quite a high state of anxiety and we're then too busy having a lovely time ourselves to really notice. Are there some dogs that shouldn't go to any sort of doggy events? Oh look, I think, you know, for some dogs, if they're quite shy dogs, you know, or they're, they're dogs who are quite reactive, so they don't really like other dogs, um, or dogs who have got certain phobias, especially with, with noise or noise sensitivities, then it's not really for them. They, they you know, just, just leave them be, let them hang out at home. Um, mm. You know, again, if it's an older dog, it really depends on what kind of event they're going to as to whether it's suitable for them. It's funny though, isn't it? Because all dogs have other dogs that they don't like. And you, you, they can just, you'd be sitting at a cafe with your dog, another one walks by, they're fine. And then the next one comes along and they just go at each other. Yeah, and, and sometimes, you know, we don't always know why they're reacting the way they are I mean if we if we can work that out then brilliant it's because the, it's the way we react to people yeah but you know we as human beings don't like everybody we meet as much yeah. as we'd like to say we do well, we, we didn't really meet them first <laughs> we at least say hello before that yeah. all goes on um so what if my dog was doing fine at the event and they're having fun and then after a while they begin to look a little bit stressed what should I do what could I do yeah I think if they're getting a little bit stressed afterwards a lot of the time it's usually because they're tired um some of these events as well they're quite overstimulating for these dogs so more than anything them by then they're worn out just listen to your dog take your dog home can you actually train your dog though to enjoy, to enjoy an event <laughs> it's like training someone oh. to enjoy a party you will go to yeah, the party and you will force have fun. them to enjoy it uh, yeah. no no generally I mean you know again you've got to think you know these animals being put into crowded areas lots of noise lots of stimulus and the thing is it's it's not for every dog just like those kind of things are not for every adult or, or child so what's your final pointer for us? What should we be doing if we are looking at taking our dog to doggy events? I think first of all just weigh up. Does your dog actually enjoy being a really social dog? Do they enjoy um, you know, not, not bothering too much with loud music or, or certain noises? And, um, and yeah, and I think if you go along and you see that your dog's not having the best time, that's okay. Just take them home. Well, maybe they just want to sit in a dark room and play PlayStation. Yeah. You know. Okay, <laughs> hey, Kelly, thank you so much. And if you need help training your dog, head along to Kelly's website, kellymcfarlane.co.nz. Thank you.